Welcome to the Chemistry, Biology and Math Revision Hub. Today we are doing the Pearsonet Excel International A-Level and GCE Biology Practicals. This is Core Practical 10, Part 3. The experiment studies the effects of changing temperature on the rate of photosynthesis. Let us begin. Investigate the effect of changing temperature on the rate of photosynthesis using an aquatic plant. The aquatic plant here we're going to use is a pondweed and the experimental setup is as we can see here. So we have a beaker of water. We have a thermometer inserted in to measure the temperature of the water. This is the pondweed that we're going to experiment on and it has been cut and the cut end is positioned to the entrance into the capillary tube. The capillary tube is filled with water and onto the other side we have a syringe that is going to collect the volume of gas produced. We have positioned the light source on this side and you will put an aluminum foil covering the beaker on this side to prevent light from coming into this direction. That ensures that the plant is exposed to a controlled amount of sunlight. We will position a color filter between the experiment and the light source to ensure that the plant is exposed to the same wavelength of light. The procedure is as below. Set up at least five different water birds at chosen temperatures. You could choose the temperature in your preliminary experiment. You could choose maybe 10 degrees, 15 degrees, 20 degrees, and so on. At least you need to have five different experiments set up. You need to place a piece of pine weed and approximately 10 centimeters long in a large beaker of water and remove bubbles gently by running a finger and thumb over the surface of the pond weed underwater. Some people decide to cut the pond weed underwater in order to prevent bubbles from forming because bubbles will interfere with your experimental results. The next part is to cover one side of the beaker with aluminum foil so that the light can only enter the beaker from the other side, meaning the place where we can control the amount of light entering the beaker, and that is this side. Add half a spatula of sodium hydrogen carbonate to the water and leave for 5 minutes. The sodium hydrogen carbonate is going to provide carbon dioxide required for this experiment. Then position the bench lamp at about 15 centimeters from the beaker. Remember that the bench lamp provides the light source, so if it's positioned at a specific distance, the plant is exposed to the same constant amount of light in every experiment. Allow the pond weed to adjust for 2 minutes. This allows it to get used to the new conditions in which it has been placed. You need to fill the capillary tubing of the photosynthometer with water. Then place the funnel end of the tubing in a beaker of water and position the pond weed with a cut end at the top of the funnel opening. Attach a paper clip at the opposite end of the pond weed to position its weight correctly. This ensures that the pond weed is in the right position and it doesn't change position in the whole experiment. At this point, you could choose to position a color light filter so that the plant is exposed to the same wavelength. As bubbles of oxygen begin to form and pass through the capillary tubing, you need to start the stop clock. Remember, every experiment should be carried out within the same time frame. Therefore, starting a stop clock will ensure that we can calculate the rate of photosynthesis appropriately if we have the time for which photosynthesis was carried out. So after that suitable time, use a syringe to collect the oxygen produced in the capillary tube and recall the volume of gas produced. Use the syringe to refill the capillary tubing and then begin to record again. Using the stem pan with apparatus, experiment at other temperatures and ensure to carry out repeat experiments at each temperature and collect the gas produced. Draw a graph of volume of gas produced on the vertical axis and temperature on the x-axis. You need to control the carbon dioxide concentration used by using the same mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Light intensity can be controlled by positioning the lamp at the same distance throughout the experiment while using aluminum foil on the other side, and then control wavelength using the same color filter. So this is how you could describe an experiment in which they ask you to study the effects of temperature on the rate of photosynthesis of an aquatic plant. So this brings us to the end of this experiment. Thank you for being with us. Do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.